Welcome, friends. In this one, let's do the direction field for y prime equals negative 1 minus 2y. So to keep the work organized, you can do negative 1 minus 2y and you set it equal to a constant. So for example, at first set it equal to 0. All right, and then draw this like this. So the now just solve this for y. This will tell you where is the slope equal to 0, the value of y that makes it true. So that's going to be negative 2y is equal to 1 at 1. Divide by negative 2, so you're going to have y is equal to negative 1 half. So along this line here, y equals negative 1 half, we have a slope of 0. So, okay, there you go. So say this is y is equal to negative 1 half. That means the slope is 0. So I guess you can indicate that with little lineal segments that kind of look pretty much horizontal, okay? You could say y prime and then just evaluate it like different values okay like when y is zero what happens right here okay so plug in zero basically so you can have negative one minus two times zero which is negative one so it tells you along this line right here y is equal to zero then the slope looks like this okay their slopes lineal segments are slope negative one An example of y prime of let's see uh, make it negative one something along those lines so in that case, you're going to have negative 1 minus 2 times negative 1 and go to that. So negative 1 plus 2 is going to be give us here positive 1. So those segments along y equals negative 1. So y equals negative 1 is pretty much like this line right here. And this value of 1 tells you that those slope segments look like this. They have a slope of positive 1. Now you could repeat this additionally for more inputs. But if you did that, you discover pretty quickly that in fact, the kind of the slope field looks like this in general, okay? And the same thing over here, the slope field looks like this. In other words, what happens is that if this is a particular solution here, it kind of uh, tends towards y equals negative one half. And the same thing over here, it tends to y equals negative one half, like that. So we could write out a basic limit statement. So the limit, as t goes towards positive infinity, in this case of y, that would be equal to negative one half. We can conclude that from the fact that these right here, from below and from above, tend towards negative one half. Please leave a like and subscribe and share if it's been helpful.